previously on Rockstar Supernova. On performance night, Lucas, Toby, Dana, Ryan, and Delana took their performances to the next level. And Storm simply took off. On a night focused on stage performance, the rest failed to deliver. Phil was stuck in a rut. I'm just wondering if everyone could, to, could deal with that for an hour and a half show. Saida's routine didn't fit. And after Patrice's performance, Dave had reached his limit. I'm just not seeing anything different. And frankly, I'm getting a little bored. Playing with Gilby, Jill got too close for comfort. The grinding thing, man. To me, it was predictable. It's cheap and it's weak. And on elimination night, Dave had sage advice. There's no doubt that all of you guys can sing. What we're looking for now is the presentation and the intensity on stage. Storm's encore performance was a little more grounding. When the world voted, Saida, Phil, and Patrice were in the bottom three. In the end, it came down to desire. Phil, we question your commitment. You're the next to go. And Gilby left the remaining rockers with a warning. It's not a matter of winning the contest, it's a matter of being in our band. And, and I gotta believe that you guys want to be in our band. Eleven rockers are still standing. Who will be the next to go? Are you ready for a new rocked it today. I <laughs> love you, Phil. Booyah, Philly. Phil was the first true contender that could have they gone all the way. They just made their first big mistake. Yeah. Cheers to Phil. Sexy Phil. Sexy, lucky. lucky. That was <laughs> when they sent Phil home, it was a shocker. I think everyone expected Zaida. So when they sent him back and it was like, wow, what just happened? Nobody's safe, you know? Well played, Actually, Patrice. Oh, that was oh, the best God, performance the best. out of any of us. I'm not kidding, Patrice. And I love myself. <laughs> and you kicked my ass. Thank you. It was a total wake-up call to be in the bottom three because I haven't been in bottom anything yet. Yeah. It was such a weird feeling to be in between. Total flying. ecstasy of just crushing it and at the same time, like... It's do or die. How did I get myself into this position? You know, yeah. yeah, so you're angry then, at yourself almost. So in... <laughs> yeah. Having been in the bottom three motivates me to be a dynamic performer. I mean, the last thing that I was going to do is go out with boring stamped on my forehead. No way. I honestly thought you were going, Zay. Me too. Even though... Only not because based, not based on your performance. Yeah, I'm just basing it on their taste and how, what they have said before yeah. about me, how they don't see how it fits. Everybody was sad to see Phil go. I'm sorry that Phil was the one that had to go. I'm truly sorry, but I have to take this. He would have. Of course, I'm just so grateful to get another chance. Incredible. I really thought a girl was gonna go. Who are your bets on? It should have not been Phil that went on. I mean, it should have definitely been Zaira. It's a disgrace that there's bloody two girls there, which I don't think should be here. There's six chicks in there. We're getting overrun. Guys are down three to one in the score. The girls are just. You know, they're bringing something to Supernova that is very different. So I think the differentness has been the key to their survival. 
But you know what the funny thing is? Now, now they're gonna see just how the boys really rule. <laughs> Seriously, it's gonna keep it together. There's nothing that me and the boys can do to send anyone home. Nothing. All we're gonna do is step up our performances and our attitudes. Ooh, yeah, bro. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, cute man. I walked into my room. I found a package with some video footage of my son in Iceland. That's so cute. At the moment, I was tired mentally. Here we go. No. Every single picture from home and phone call and everything else just charges your batteries like that. What? He's walking? No. Did he walk before he left? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I'm not used to being this far away. It's like crazy. father, like son, for sure. <laughs> uh, watching the video kind of put me back on the right track to what we're here to do and why. I don't think you can't describe how much you miss somebody like that. If I could say something to my son and wife, it would just be I miss you more than I can pr possibly describe. So. I'll see you soon. Thanks for letting us be here for that man. Cool dude. Hi friends. Walked into the ballroom, Jason Newstead was there, and uh, right off the bat he started talking about stage performance. I can't tell you things that you already know, and I'm not going to come up here and, okay, you bang like this, then you go over and you throw your phone number out to that chick, then you come over here and you <laughs> bang some more, you know? It was supposed to be a stagecraft workshop, that's how it was designed, but my main intention was to have them realize that I understand what they're up against here. Twenty years ago this month, I got an audition with Metallica, who was my favorite band. There were some guys in auditions with Metallica that could run circles around me on the bass, man. You know? But it's not just about that. It's about the person and how they react to everybody else and how they interact with everybody else. If you're going to front a band, you have to do just that. You have to lead the show. So stagecraft is everything. What we're coming to here in the competition is that Everybody's met all this criteria with the voice and all this other stuff. Now it's about being a performer. So for the first time, you guys are going to get to see yourselves perform. Now you're seeing it from my eyes, how I watch you. You guys ready? Yay! The first performer, Toby Rand, White Wedding. Boom! Yeah. Boom! I love the fact that you don't walk around the stage. You He's a kangaroo. You're like a kangaroo. <laughs> I've never seen myself really before. I've seen some video clips or some stuff that I've done live, but to see it on a stage where 600 people are screaming is ridiculous. The mic stand thing, it really works for you, so start trying to work that in more. Don't lose it so early. Okay. And to get advice from Jason, it was awesome. Next, we're going to see Josh Logan. I've seen you do so much better than that. You know what I mean? There was a couple spots that were okay and a couple spots that really weren't. This song was definitely, the, I mean, it's hoppy. You're used to doing a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Maybe it's just there's not enough for you to do. Josh feels naked without his instrument. So when you throw somebody into something that they're not used to like that, that's really showing their weaknesses. It's rock to me, you know, it's just so just relaxed. It's hard to balance. Um, who I am as to what they want me to be. The bottom line is if they want me, then they have to take me as I am. Storm Large. You can tell she spent a lot of time with the band, fronting the band, leading, leading the band. Oof! It was fantastic. Brad. Zaira. You're sexy beast. Whoa! I'm keeping the outfit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on with that happy note, where are we going here? Jill Joya. Oh, God. I'm really critical of myself, and it's hard for me to, to watch myself. So I was just preparing myself for, oh, my God, what am I going to see? It's 
hard for me to, to watch myself, but I want to watch because I need to learn. He's actually running away. He's like, help. Right, right there, right there. See, check that. She hit him with a mic stand. I've been singing professionally for years now, but I look at that and I was like, what was I thinking up there? I don't know, I just ended up throwing it backwards. It and all just has to do with the presence of mind thing. One of the most important things, awareness on stage and knowing when to get the hell out of the way. And as the leader, you always got to know where your guys are. That is like number one rule. You know, with my bands, like, it's funny, I've never, like, thrown the mic stand into anybody's hand. The problem with Jill is she takes everything so personally, takes it into this, like, personal attack thing when nobody else does. I was learning lyrics, and I had a lot to think about, and... Oh. What? What was that? Oh, she's gonna keep going. <laughs> Jill has a tendency to talk. I was questioning, do I want to do my jeans and my, you know, this is like me. And talk. You know, because that was the thing, last minute thing. Do I wear the skirt? And then talk some more. And so me and Lucas decided to play tic-tac-toe. Thoughts and crosses, we call it in Australia. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, you know, it was definitely just feeling out what it would be like to be up there with him. Okay, so, Delana. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. That's just ridiculous. Wow. I thought it was great in all, everything. I feel that vocally it was my worst performance that I've done in a long time. I'm very disappointed. I feel like bursting out in tears right now. Really? Yes, vocally I, I'm embarrassed. For my performances, stage presence is everything. Every performance I do is to get my crowd in my, into my mind. If I cannot capture every person in the room, including the ones that I can't see in the back, then I feel like it wasn't worth it. Everybody's their own worst critic. Yeah, definitely. It's important for somebody to be tough on themselves, as it were, trying to build a higher standard, but you also have to find the line where you don't beat yourself up too much. Patrice. <laughs> When Remedy popped up, I'm like, great. The one that they like the least is the one that we get to watch today. Woohoo! What do you say there, Patrice Pike? Right after I walked off the stage, instantly I thought about all my fans. If that's going to be the one time people see me, they're not really seeing full on Patrice. Seeing visually and trying to be objective about what wasn't right about Remedy was the best thing that could have happened for me. So and I was like, okay, I get what I have to do. Wow, that's powerful, you guys. Some new songs. this for once. That room, it just annoys me, man. It's all like, it's too intense. So I just grab him off the board and just threw him on the table and said, let's deal. You guys want some songs? You took all of them off the board, man? There's no rules here. And even if there was, I'm kind of not into rules, you know? Let's go put him back up. No, no, no we got to see you. Just lay him out. Put him on the table. Just put him here. It was nice to not have to like get that nauseating feeling of, oh God, now here we're marching to the supernova room. David Bowie, everyone knows ch changes. Ch 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 changes. Yeah. I'll do, I'd love to do changes, David I'm Bowie. When I saw Changes, it was the only song I wanted to do. We all know Higher Ground by Stevie no. Wonder. But I keep, keep on trying to reach the higher ground. ground. I want Higher Ground. You went, I'm sorry, Higher Ground for Josh? Yeah. Tommy, he's playing on Higher Ground? Yeah. Wow. Suddenly, someone pulled the picture out from under it of Tommy Lee and starts waving it around. And instantly it was like, just go for it, just do it. Put my name on Higher Ground. Higher Ground, yeah, that's Patrice. Josh can knock it out of the park, dude. I think I can do that song. So could Patrice. 
but I would do it Stevie Wonder style, not Chili Pepper style, so I might not be what he wants to do. Tommy's gonna want to do the harder Chili Pepper stuff, you know. I wouldn't enjoy it as much if we did it the Chili Pepper style. What the hell is this? I don't know. What is it? Eight, six, seven, five, five three, three, nine. Janet, Janet, who can I turn to? Nobody wanted to put their name on that song. The band will probably rock it harder if you ask them to. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. But I also kind of looked at it as the song found me. It was only my name there. I'll take it. This helps a lot, I promise. Thank you. Letting destiny lead the way. Santeria. That's sublime. I don't practice Santeria. I ain't oh, got gosh. no crystal ball. I'll do Santeria. You can have higher ground. Okay? You sure? Yours. You got it, Pete. Yours. It took me a few minutes. It was like elimination. It took me a few minutes going, did this just happen? I can't didn't that. have to fight about it. No, no. That's Zen. That's Zen song selection. At the same time, do I really need to be under a bigger microscope this week after being in elimination? They've already made a statement about me, like, can you front a band with Tommy Lee? So, there's tons of pressure. This is Tommy Lee. Um, will you do me a favor and not say that anymore? What? Because I don't want to hear about it. Tommy Lee? I don't want to hear about it from you. From me? Yeah. You're awesome. Serious. You're so No, I'm cool. not being a bitch, man. <laughs> How's that not being a bitch? Well, you keep saying it to me. It's the here. first time I ever said it. First time, I swear. It's the first I swear time. it's the first time. I heard okay. somebody else say it. No, I apologize. Okay. Just sincerely. I won't say it. Wow. Bitch. For Patrice, this just became a do or die performance. Because if she gets in front of Tommy Lee and doesn't deliver, or you just look at it and say, this is wrong, then they don't need her at the auditions anymore. Um, it's actually, um, I really wanted this song. Oh, you know, it's like because it's almost more pressure. Well, of course, you know it's more I mean? pressure. Yeah. So, but what I'm saying is, like, I don't like, and I'm sure you felt the same way. The idea that I would pick a song just because I want to play with one of them. I really want to audition for this band and show them that what I have inside of me can complete Supernova, and what they need is inside of me. I just have to get over that whole idea of worrying about what other people will think. I don't know. I think I think it does put you out there for a risk. Like, you know, it's like, you know, maybe it's safer to not play with them yet. Let them yeah. envision, you know, and that, totally. that's, that's what I you feel. But put your balls on the line when you do it. I knew that Changes by David Bowie would be a very challenging song in the way that I wanted to be challenged this week. I know the time may change me, but I can't change time. When I sang it to myself, thought about it, meditated on the lyrics, it made me a little bit more nervous about how kind of far I'm venturing. It may not be what Supernova wants to see from me. Hey, man. Be longer. 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 Be I know what I want to do and uh, who I want to be, so hopefully if they like that, then this is the band for me. If not, then it's not, so that's it. My rehearsal, always a big challenge, always. The band, they know, here she comes, she's gonna change everything. Just, I'm not crazy about the rhythm. I, I want a different rhythm. I want just drums. To I have a producer kind of mind, you know. I can't help it. I hear it differently. I was hoping for those guitars like 
really distorted. Let's do it crazy. again. <laughs> please, I want to hear the accent. Damn please. it. Do it again, please. Yeah. Like, really. Uh, are we changing keys? Zaida has taken everything that was cool about the song and gotten rid of it. I think you've already done the rearrangement thing. You've done that a few times, so. But I don't to, do it because can I, can I, I want to. Finish? I do it just so that I feel the song. The one thing I don't think you've done is sing a song the way it's originally intended to be done and killed it. That would be changing it up it's to because me. Because I think it's not me. Let's just follow her. Let's follow her. I can't imagine Zaida's performance will not blow up in her face. I've got your nightmare, eight, six, It's a punk rock kind of song, so if I f it up, I probably will be just fine. Still don't know what I was waiting for, and my time was running wild a million dead end streets. And Everything I've done up to this point in the show has been very bombastic and very rock and very, you know, grand. I'm nervous that it's not going to rock. It won't rock. Right. It won't. Right. This song is very different because it's really lyrically introspective. You haven't shown that side of me. It, it makes me very vulnerable. I don't know what's going to happen, but I, I'm going to give it my thousand percent as I always do. Oh. <laughs> 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 